Hello people. Um, I know it's been a while. I'm still here and today I was like I want to do something pretty with my hair. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out. Uh, it currently looks like this so needs coming out and I figured I could just yammer at you while I do that because why not. So yeah I've uh, been pretty much housebound like everybody else. No real news there. I've been gardening more, which is, I don't know, almost weird for me. I've never considered myself a gardening person. I don't mind it, but I guess I've been doing more gardening things lately. And I don't intrinsically love it, but I like the end product. <laughs> so I guess there's that. I, it's not like sewing for me where it's like, I love sewing. I love the process of sewing. But with gardening, it's like, I don't love the process, but the end product is nice. Like, I like having vegetables and flowers and whatnot. So, been doing more of that. Uh, my neighbor seems to think I'm incredibly ambitious, which I don't, but she's doing like one tomato pot and I've got some raised beds and stuff like that, so. Comparative, I guess. I still don't know what I'm doing with my hair and like here I am taking it down. Hopefully this isn't going to take forever. I just feel like being pretty today. Like I put on a pretty shirt and a pretty skirt and I'm feeling pretty and I'm going to put on hopefully just something nice on the top of my head and we're just going to see if that works out because if it doesn't I'm probably just going to take it down and put it in a braid anyway. That might be where we end up at the end of this. Who knows? I've got a mirror right here, which is kind of a funny place for a mirror because it's in the middle of my living room, but it works. Da, 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 da. I've been doing pretty much the same hairstyle all week, which is I braid it, but then whenever I get about halfway down, I switch over to the, um, I call it the crochet braid. It's like a chain stitch because it makes my hair my, the end braid a lot shorter and more manageable without adding excessive weight somewhere along the way because if you put the weight too high up then you get this weird like feels like you just have a weight hanging off the back of your head which is not very fun by the end of the day so I've been trying to figure out a solution for that and it seems like that works. Like if I braid halfway down and then do the, the last half in the crochet braid, it, it works fine. But it doesn't feel especially pretty, it's functional. So I want to do something pretty today. I, I do sometimes miss when um, me and my siblings all lived at home and I would do all kinds of fun stuff with my sister's hair, my little sisters. Um, I say little sisters, they're like a year younger than me. But it was just fun to do some of the more complicated hairstyles on somebody else because I could actually see what I was doing. <laughs> so there's certain hairstyles that I've done on them thousand times that I've never done on myself because I can't see what I'm doing. And sometimes that just makes the difference. And then there's other things like French braids and stuff like that that I rarely ever do on myself because it's just my hair is so long now and it's difficult to separate it all the way down while you're still holding the braid that you're working on because there's just too much length. <sighs> okay, I think I've just about combed out now. Getting close anyway. The main problem with doing my hair, um, finishing it off in that crochet braid like I've been doing, is that it makes the ends of my hair curl a little bit and it just gets really frizzy. <laughs> so it's more difficult to comb out now than it usually is. and. I don't know if I like that. So it's like functional throughout the day, but right up front, 
and I'm trying to comb it out, it's just a little bit more difficult. So I guess it's like choosing one or the other. It's going to be more difficult somewhere along the line. Okay, we are all combed out. Just, it's just so much. Okay, I'm going to try to show you guys. I don't know if you'll really be able to see it against the carpet, but. Da, da, da. Let's see who's find it. There's my hair. It's just a lot. It's just, uh, see, I can't even see what I'm doing. Hair, 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 hair. It's forever long. And that's okay. We're just going to deal with it. And find something pretty to do with it today. Okay, so, still have no plan. I really like the the look when like we take it and like twist it all the way back like that. Like I think it's pretty, but I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or you just can't see it on me because my hair is just really flat. <laughs> Maybe I get it to work. I feel like that would just be nice throughout the day. I don't know. Like something like that on both sides. And that's the thing, like how do you hold one side and then do the other side? You're probably supposed to pin it up or something. <laughs> Usually what I end up doing is just like the front looks normal and the back looks interesting. But sometimes you want the front to look interesting too. Okay. Oh, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting the top half of my hair in a ponytail. And maybe braiding the bottom half to do something interesting with. Can I have it in two parts? Mm-hmm. I have to braid it halfway down. <laughs> Almost there. There. Okay, so we're in two parts here. I'm going to put the top in a ponytail. A lot of the new hairstyles I do manage to come up with are usually just a combination of other things I've already done. I really try stuff that's actually new. Because when you figure out what works for you, it's just easier to stick with that. Oh no. Okay. Let's see, should I do one more or do I leave it? Leave that. Just like that. A ponytail. And then I have all the rest of this down here. So let's see. I'm gonna start by putting this in like one of those crochet buns. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it that way, but it'll be a good way to keep it separated until I'm ready to do something with it. La 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 la. Crochet braid, crochet braid. You know my crochet braids are getting kind of long. Okay, so that should keep that pretty well separated. I should have got some like clips or something. Something I didn't bring over here in my little corner with me. will have to do. Okay, keep that separate. And I'm going to, actually I might just put it up in a bun to keep it really, really separate. Are your clips in sight? No. Okay. I'm gonna grab a hair clip and come back. Okay, so I flip this up, keep it out of the way. I'm gonna do something with this. My question is, do I do it in a regular braid that I can use to embellish the rest of my hairstyle? 
or do something else. See, I'm so indecisive today. I don't even know. I'm gonna do like a regular braid that's enough to maybe wrap around my head and then do like a twisty braid the rest of the way. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, 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 that's what I'm gonna do. So starting with a regular braid. Seems like separating the hair all the way down is always like the most tedious part. Come on, come on, come on. Sometimes I actually get my husband to help me with that. <laughs> if he's in the room while I'm trying to do my hair, it's common for me to be like, okay, you hold this and this and I'll separate it. La 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 la. He's been home a lot more because he's working from home like a lot of people. Um, I'm glad he's able to work from home as opposed to just being unemployed. Like that seems like a perk. But at the same time, we haven't spent this much direct time together <laughs> since we've been married. I think that's it's common for married people right now too. It's just like, well, we spent a lot of time together before, but it was not quite like this so he's he has an office that's over there and he's been he can close the door and, and work in there but my computer's in there too so half the time i'm just sitting in there with him doing my own thing on my computer while he's on his because we just sort of it's just the computer room it makes sense we play a lot of video games together and so it made sense to have computers in the same room like why wouldn't we makes communication so much easier okay that is uh, I'm just gonna do just a fuzz longer so it's just about enough to go all the way around so I hear the mailman wanting to put something on the end of my braid here to kind of hold it steady. So I've got one of these little hair elastics. Put that in the end of my braid to keep it there. La, 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 la. There are so many fancy looking hairstyles that I see and I'm like oh that's kind of cool and it says it's for long hair and then I click on it and it's like for shoulder length hair or slightly down your back hair and I'm like well I can't do this because <laughs> I have too much hair to do it my mom sent me an article that was about oh I forget who she was it was like a historic duchess and she had long hair like mine. And, but her hair was like thicker and a little bit curly, it looked like in the pictures. But she had a, a designated person that did her hair for her. I'm like, oh, that's luxury right there. Someone to do your hair for you. Okay. Wrap up the loose hair, stick them on my hairbrush for now. All right, so we've got this. And now I'm going to take this bit, Ooh, separate it to two strands, because I'm going to do a rope braid at the end of this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this rope braid, but I kind of like the idea of having two braids on the end of one another end to end that just seems kind of fun because I can like decorate two different parts of my head with two different braids with the same bit of hair I don't know 
know why I haven't never, I've never tried this before. I don't know why. New avenues of excitement. I watched, well, I occasionally watch videos that are like historical sewing and stuff like that. I don't have an incredibly strong interest in it, but for the historical value in and of itself, I think it's kind of interesting to see how things used to be done. And some of those ladies will also do their hair in historical ways. And I watched one where she, she did her hair up in Victorian style and it looked lovely. And she had a separate piece of hair that she used, she braided it and she used it to decorate. And I was like, huh, I think I could probably do that by just using half of my hair to make whatever bun I'm going to make and use the other half to make a decorative piece. Also, I've thought about this a few times, but I couldn't figure out how to quite make it work. Like doing the half and half thing, but in, like use the top half, like to my waist, to make some kind of bun and the rest of the leftover braid it or twist it or do something with it to decorate the rest. I just could never quite figure out how to make that structurally sound. <laughs> I think that's a lot of my trouble too, is like when you have this much hair, you have to figure out how to get it to stay the same all day. Still twisting, 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 twisting thing about these twisted braids is that if you get a tight enough twist on it, it'll just kind of like twist itself together and you don't have to actively wrap it around itself because it just does it. Which if you're braiding for this long, it, that's really helpful. <laughs> I like to, um, I think I've already made a video on this, but I think it's called like a rose bun or something where you braid all of your hair like this and then just twist it up in a standard bun format and it looks like a rose because you have so many little twists so they look like rose petals. And I still do my hair that way. It's pretty comfortable, it's pretty stable, and I can leave it that way most of the day without any issues. Every once in a while I'll go through a phase where my scalp is really sensitive and I have to be a lot more particular about how I, I do my hair, whether that's, you know, oh, I can't put it in a bun in the same place anymore. I have to find a different place to put it. Or I have to switch to a high bun or a low bun or no buns at all this week. I just have to braid it every day. And I know it almost makes me sad. Like I can't do more fun things with it in that time period just because like, my scalp is sore <laughs> and I don't really know why that happens. It just kind of periodically I'll deal with that and then it'll go away. I don't know. I don't think that's just me. I think other people deal with that too. And sometimes I think it's seasonal changes and sometimes it's like, oh, you just need to wash your hair more often or less often or whatever. I watched a, a different video that was supposed to be like hair care tips and one of the tips was like only use like a dime size little bit of shampoo and conditioner and I was like uh that's not gonna work <laughs> it's just not like when you have five people's worth of hair on your head or more you, you're gonna need more product. I still think I don't use as much as some people comparatively, but my, my hair is just not as soft or the same if I use less conditioner than I use. And we gotta keep this manageable because if it's not manageable, I will go insane. And nobody wants that, especially the man I live with. So, when I was first married and moved from an extreme southern state that had incredibly soft water to a northern state that had very hard water, that was an extremely difficult transition because 
as you can imagine, um, those different types of water behave very differently on my hair. And I feel like it took a long time to find a new shampoo and conditioner that worked with the new water type that I was living in. Let's see. Ow, 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 ow. I'm going to go ahead and let this original thing down if I can get it detached from the top of my head. That clip is stuck. Ow, 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 ow. This is a lot of my life, too. It's just like, ow, 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 ow. Okay. So that's detached. <laughs> Thunder. All right. So I have, I think I actually did too much standard breed. <laughs> Lightning and thunder. I wrapped this around the original ponytail and I'm going to pin that in place. I might end up needing more pins across the top just to kind of keep it stable, but I don't have those with me. So I'm gonna do that later because I don't care. Okay, so. First decorative braid in place. Fantastic. All right, so we have one braid in place where this one is going to live. Okay, and I'm gonna do something with this hair. What shall I do? Dum -de da Okay, take me down. That is the funnest part of having that much hair, <laughs> is taking that particular braid down because it's so fun. It just goes from being like a little thing to just... Okay. So, I have two things now. I've got this braid on top of my head and I've got... It's actually like too tight and it looks silly. You don't want a silly looking head. Okay, now what am I gonna do with this? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I love the look of those buns that look like they're just sort of wrapped around a bunch of times and then somehow attached to this person's head. Like, oh. <laughs> this is what designing a new hairstyle is like. <laughs> I'm trying new things, I end up with stuff in the middle of my head. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I do have hairpins. Haha, uh -huh. I didn't think I had these. Okay, these are just standard hairpins. Previously, I used one of those um, twisty hairpins like this. I love these. Sometimes you need these. Let's see, contrast. I'm trying to put my pale, pale face. Okay, I'm just going to pin these braids in place. So they don't fall in my face again. It's much more secure. Okay. And I can play back here without ending up with a braid in my face. Even though I don't understand it, I think I might try it anyway. Because what's the point if you can't experiment and figure out new things? Okay, I'm gonna take half half of my hair, like the, the top half. I keep saying half, but I mean a different thing every time. Okay, I'm going to wrap it like this. And let's see, would it be possible to attach this little wrappy thing to the top of my hair? Maybe. I hope so. This seems kind of fun. The video is already getting really long because this is what it's like when I'm trying to figure out new hairstyles can't just throw it up in a messy bun and call it good for the day. That doesn't work. Okay. Don't know if this actually did what I wanted to or not because I can't see it. But I want just like one of those little cute puffs on the back of my head. I don't think it's actually no, it's actually pretty close. Like just a cute little puff bun? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay.
okay, okay. I'm gonna see if I can make this as secure as possible before I let go of it because it's just going to fall off my head. See, I wanna wrap one more time here through the center with this end bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna wrap this around and around and around to try to secure it better. Mm, I could do that. You can't even see what I'm doing, it's okay. I'm just like essentially trying to wrap it in a way that secures that shape to my head, which we're looking really messy back there. So I'm thinking this didn't work. All about the trial and error of figuring out and not this braid shoe thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that, adjust it later, and just see if I can salvage anything out of it. Twist some of these hairpins in my head, the twisty ones. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can make something out of that. So we have this thing, we have this thing, we have this thing. I feel like the lighting is constantly changing because it's trying to rain outside. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think I've changed my mind. I'm going to remove these little hairpins. something a little farther back, maybe? Mm. There's better. Let's see. Either I can do something further back or I can do something like on top of my other one. Which might be cute. Might be too much. Let's see. something like that maybe. Sometimes I watch those, I don't know, like Asian historical dramas where all the ladies have their hair in like these super extreme crazy looking hairstyles just like, wow, that looks complicated. I don't know how you ever got that up there kind of hairstyles. And occasionally I'll see like the trick of like, okay, they made this look way more difficult than it actually was. But then sometimes I'm looking at it and I'm like, no, that just looks like they spent ages figuring out how to get this lady's hair like this. And she has to sit in a chair for hours at the beginning of every day so that she can look like that. Okay. I have no idea what the back of my head looks like. I should probably look at it because I'm just like putting hair places. Let's see. That is kind of interesting and kind of just like messy. And I can't even really see it because it's too dark in the house now. It was so bright earlier and now it's I'm gonna roll with it. I feel like this looks like some kind of late 1800s thing, except they would have this bit of hair like curly, and I don't, because I don't have time for that. Nobody's got time for curling when your hair is this long. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hide the end of this twisty braid up underneath my weird bun. I don't even know what you would call this. Sometimes I want to look into like historical hairstyling because the notion is that it used to be more common for people to have hair that was as long as mine and maybe they figured out something that I've had a hard time figuring out. <laughs> like sometimes you just don't know what to do with it all. 
But I also look at some historical hairstyles and I'm like, that is really extra. And I don't think I could pull that look off. Okay, so we're up in a bun or something. We've got this hair that I think I want to leave there, but I want it to look intentional instead of looking like my hair is just falling down. I've got a braid on top of my head. I've got braids on the back of my head. We're definitely feeling extra today, but I also feel like this is sort of pretty. Like you can actually see the back of my hair from the front, which almost never happens with the hairstyles that I do. Also, like with it twisted up like that, it almost is like bouncy, like 1950s or something. I do think at some point I'm going to make a video where I try to recreate um, like 1950s or 60s hairstyles because I have seen pictures of my ancestors with some crazy stuff on top of their head. It's like that is the beehive of all beehives. And I think maybe I could pull it off. Because I don't know, there's just something about it that's fascinating of like, I don't know why you thought to do that to your head. I guess because it was just fashionable, but man, that's crazy. I did um, unintentionally um, do a 1920s to 30s kind of look one time, but it was because I was curling my hair and I was trying to do like the finger curls where you twist it up and pin it and I ended up with just like my hair like pinned and curled all over my head and it had just like this certain shape to it that looked very historic and kind of fun because it made my hair look like it was a bob but it was actually six feet of hair which just fascinated me i don't know it was just interesting Ugh. now i have a lot closer to eight feet of hair it's a lot it's it's over seven and a half feet and it's just you saw me doing this <laughs> like you, you you sort of know okay I'm gonna look at the back again I feel like we're close to a finished something even if it's just really extra let's see looking at the back I don't know I feel like I could hairspray it and leave it like this and just have a fun day today this this feels really secure it feels comfortable like nothing is pulling weird or putting weight on a different part of my neck than usual. That's a big deal. That's why I have a hard time with um, low hairstyles or hairstyles that sit on, on your neck because I have so much hair that when it sits in a different place, those neck muscles aren't used to holding it up that way. And so all day I'm just like, oh, can't do this. Okay, I'm going to hairspray this to death and hopefully it stays like this because it's kind of cute. Kind of crazy, but kind of cute. I do feel like at the end of the day, this little bob bit in the back here is not going to look the same at all. So I'm just going to hairspray it to death and hope it stays. Okay, at least this hairspray doesn't have a strong smell because I can't, I can't take the strong smells. All right, um, I put together, I feel somewhat cute, um, finished product. I suppose I've invented a new hairstyle for myself, but I'm going to give it a wear all day and see how it holds up because sometimes things work out and sometimes I get halfway through the day and I can't take it anymore and I have to take it down. But maybe this will work for me today because I feel kind of cute. I think the braids on top maybe a bit much, but I would be interested in trying more of this type of thing to see if I can figure out the ins and outs of it and make it work for me because I don't know it just feels pretty like it's, it feels a bit flowier than I usually get to be because of the length of my hair so maybe it'll hold I'm hoping so uh, I guess that's it for me today uh, it's been fun it is officially raining outside and lightning so I will just enjoy this and let you go bye